Hey guys, Chad Hoover, Kayak Bass and TV. This week's Just a Tip is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm going to, to a certain extent, contradict something that I've said in other Just a Tips, and that's that uh, I'm a big fan of using leader for a um, fluorocarbon or monofilament to braid connection. Now, in that video, I told you a lot of the reasons why I use a, a fluorocarbon or monofilament leader. In this video, I'm going to tell you a particular time when I don't use it, and that's when I'm using a long rod and a heavy lure, and I wanna make super long casts, especially when I'm topwater fishing. Uh, in this case, I've got the suicide duck tied on. I simply tied it on with a Palomar knot, and I did a double half hitch in front of the Palomar knot so that my tag end is facing straight back. I skinned it so that the knot doesn't unravel. The thing about this lure is that I can pause it, and it'll sit, and it doesn't sink, or it doesn't turn over, and it sits dead, and st dead still. So when I'm using a moving lure, I'm not too worried about this, but anytime I'm gonna stop my lure, and the line's gonna lay on the surface or and it's bright and sunny out. And I use a black duck on top water a lot. Uh, I use black lures, black frogs on top water when it's clear and sunny a lot. And a lot of times I use a leader, but when I wanna make super long cast, the reason that I don't want a leader is because when I rear back and make that long cast, the friction of that knot going out through the guides robs you of a lot of that initial energy of that lure going out. And so because of that, and because you're throwing up into heavy cover into wood, you can get away without a leader. And with a topwater presentation, you're not too much worried about the abrasion because it's not abrading over anything for the most part. So this is 60 pound cans and braid. But here's one thing that I can tell you that you need to do when you're making these super long casts and you're doing this topwater bite, especially if you're gonna fish bright, sunny, middle of the day feeding times when you don't have the benefit of cloud cover. And that's to take a Sharpie and darken your leader. And the reason being is black doesn't reflect. So if you simply take your your sharpie and you kind of spin the line you, just, you don't want to use the tip you just want to use the side of it and you kind of want to go back and forth you only need to do about three feet uh, all it does is it just gets rid of the immediate connection of the lure to something it keeps the fish from realizing that there's something there and when this is super light super light colored out in bright sunlight it reflects light so what you're doing is you're just darkening it in and you're making it black which makes it not reflect it doesn't make it disappear like you hear a lot of people say but it makes it not reflect light which makes it a lot less visible so when i'm using this braid connection i'm going to take that sharpie and i'm going to go up and down the line i'm going to spin it to make sure i get it good and covered i'm going to do that for the first three to four foot of line that's gonna allow me to stop that duck and let it sit in place. Bass don't identify it as a fraud because of seeing the line connected to it, and I catch a lot more fish. That little simple trick works great for jig fishing, super deep when you wanna tie a heavy braid to it and use a soft hook so you can straighten the hook out. That's one other time that I use braid straight to a lure. You've gotta use it in a little bit more stained water or when you're fishing on top, but if it's bright and sunny out and you wanna make that, you wanna make that braid disappear, simply take that Sharpie out use the side of it, rub it up and down the line, you'll get rid of it. After I do that, just to get rid of the scent, I rub a little bit of scent up and down it, smooth it in, that kills that marker scent, makes it a little bit more realistic, and that right there will put more fish in the boat for you. That's, week's, that's this week's Just the Tip. Sharpie up your braided line if you're using a direct connection. Uh, let that scent get away before you throw it in the water or cover it up with a cover scent, but that's gonna help that leader pretty much disappear. It's gonna make it not reflect light. It's gonna be more invisible in the water uh, and it's gonna be less offensive to bass. So it'll result in more fish.